Hey folks, Cadillac Shrimpin here. I'm a shipbuilder on uh, UWO's Gamma server, and I'm here today to talk to you about how <clears throat> UWO Tool works. It's a very powerful tool that you can find at uwotool.com. Now, I suggest that you make an account with UWO Tool so that you can go back through and look at some builds that you've built previously. You can <clears throat> save those builds, you can share those builds with other people who can then edit them, so on and so forth. So very much suggest that you create an account. Now the way that UWO tool works is you can look for a specific ship or you can use the filters in order to filter for ships that uh, meet certain criteria. Uh, one way to do it is to type in the name of a ship such as Light La Mort and click the search bar and you can find it that way. Now another way to do it is to search for um, ships based on their criteria using these filters. Let's say I want a non-NC ship and I want to find a battleship that is uh, not a row ship. I don't know why they use combined but they do. Um, that is under 65 battle. Do it that way and this brings me up a pretty good list of ships that fit that criteria. Um, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to show you how to use this in general using a Vassal. Okay, so got our Vassal here. Um, this uh, first panel right here is your basic information. What class of ship it is, what the ship's name is, a little picture, all the ship skills that it can have, what required levels the ship needs, uh, how many of each individual uh, ship part it can use, uh, total number of improvements that it can have. Now it splits this into two. Uh, in this one, the five is the number of base improvements that it can have. And then it can also have plus one whenever you go to the colony and unlock that additional mod slot. Now keep in mind that that is going to raise the highest ship level requirement. In this case, it would be battle by five levels if you add that additional slot. Okay. Um, over here, we have the properties of the ship. Uh, and the base levels that those properties are at. For example, the base level for this ship is going to be 680. Um, and we've got vertical sails, horizontal sails. Row power is not going to be an issue for this ship because it is not a row ship. Um, turn, wave resistance, armor, so on and so forth. Now down here you have uh, your parameters that are going to affect your cargo capacity. Remember, the lower that hold space is in general, the faster it is, but also the less cargo it has. Okay, so you have cabin here, you can set it for number of sailors. This is a battleship, so I'm going to set it to maximum number of sailors. Uh, cannon chambers. Let's see, we've got five broadside cannons, maximum of 16 guns apiece. That's 80 guns, plus a bow turret and a stern turret at eight guns apiece. It's a total of 98 cannons. So let's do that. Um, and then hold here. Now, um, the, there are four different values, and you can also set a custom value in here. Um, but the ones that are listed here as buttons are minus 25% which remember you get a penalty to sails and wave resistance if you take and also rowing if it's a row ship. Minus 20% which is what I'm going to use for this. It's fast, doesn't have a lot of cargo so it moves quickly. Um, you've got plus 20%, this would be more for cargo mods, and then plus 25% which is also subject to that same penalty. Okay, so We're going to do minus 20% here. Okay. Don't worry about this G column for right now. That's for ship build. Uh, that's for ship rebuilding, uh, which is uh, more commonly referred to on our server as fusion. Um, now, in this improve column right here, you will see that um, whenever we add something that's going to increase the stats of that sh that ship, you're going to see uh, something pop up here in the improve column. And this upper limit is exactly how much uh, improvement you can have on the ship. Okay. Um, improve result is a result of the base performance plus the improve. So what you sh what your ship stats should actually be. And this revised column allows you to make a manual adjustment. Let's say you got a um, plus 10 great success to your um, durability increase. That's a way that you can denote that. Or if you got a minus 10, you can denote it that way. Okay. 
Uh, okay, so let's talk about how ship rebuilding or grading works on here. The way that works is going to be with this bar right here. You simply pick the grade. Okay, let's say we wanted it to be a grade 3. You select what type. Let's say we wanted it to be a battleship. I'll talk about how to change types in a later video. <clears throat> um, and you can also select your ship uh, fusion bonuses. Uh, for this one, I'm going to say I'm going to take the durability improvement and the um, armor improvement. Okay, so there we go. We got a lot of increased performance out of that. Now, the reason I picked Vassal for this is because you can build a Vassal just straight up from the shipyard, or you can build it using an official large three-decked hull. And doing so will create, it will build that ship with a military panel. So the, the brightly colored panels, like the blue panel from Portugal, the red one from Venice, so on and so forth. So let's say that we're going to do that. And that is going to increase our base. And what that does is changes the material that the ship is made out of. And you can manually select those here. Okay. Um, now I'm going to show you how to add ship skills. The one big advantage that UWO tool has over Aviro is ship skills. Um, you can manually just put in what ship skills you want. Let's say I want APN and I want intensive charge. I can set it that way. Boom. Done. Uh, you can also set your original ship skill over here. Let's say I want for that heavy bombing. Okay. Um, now uh, one thing that you're going to want to do next is going to be you're going to want to add some sales on here but before you do that I want to talk just a little bit about this improved column you'll notice here that we have a range uh, you don't just have one number well that's because whenever you add parts to a ship you can get a fail which is bad um, it's the low end of that range you can get a expected value which is here in the blue or you can get a high value, which is called a great success. So <clears throat> if we had a 3 for turn speed after adding these parts for the ship skills, that would be a fail. If we had a 6, that's, that's the expected value. And if we had a 9, then we got a great success. That's a great job on all of those. Okay, <clears throat> And keep in mind that's added per part. Okay, The next thing I'm going to do is add sales. So this is a non-NC ship. I'm not going to do anything fancy with D-storms or D-gaffs. So just large Latin, large squares, all the way down. There we go. Added that to it. Now, the last thing I want to do is add some parts. So let's see here. If I look, my improved, my durability is way over what it needs to be. So good, we've maxed durability. Sales are also maxed. Armor is pretty high up there too. Let's throw on a little bit of wave resistance to make it storm proof at 11 wave resistance and a little bit of turn. So the way I do that is I go to select armaments and then I choose which slots I want to put it in here. Here I'm going to do uh, traverse ropes for increased wave resistance and you can click these things at the top to sort by increased wave resistance. What parts add wave resistance? So some traverse ropes. Let's do those. And let's do the same for turn speed. So it's looking like painter ropes are going to be the best bet for that. So let's add a bunch of those. And there we go. Okay, so that fills us up here. We're at six total mods. We've got two ship skills there, two optional skills, and then one original ship skill. And we're pretty much done. So that's pretty much how you use UWO tool in a nutshell. I'll show a more in detail example in a, another video about exactly how this is done using an NC ship instead. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, one thing I wanted to point out before I sign off is the donate button up here. Uh, you can click this and give some money to the awesome guy who created this tool, Blue Bob. He's a great guy. If you use this tool as much as I do, throw, throw him $5. It'll, I'm sure he would very much appreciate it. Thank you for watching. I hope to bring you guys more videos, and have a good one.